Have you been shopping around for life insurance and you're a little confused by all the different riders and add-ons that are available? Maybe you're starting to feel like it's a bit of an infomercial. But wait, there's more! So I'm here to uh, clarify a little bit of that and help you understand just what it is that you're actually looking at and what it is you're signing up for. My name is Jake Williams and I'm a life insurance specialist with Step Up Wealth Management. For more information on life insurance, those riders, and how they can fit into a larger comprehensive financial plan, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified immediately anytime I upload new videos. So what I'm talking about today is the waiver of premium rider. And this is where some people can start to get a little bit confused, so I really want to break it down for you. The waiver of premium rider, just like a lot of the other riders out there, it is an extra thing that can be added on to your life insurance policy. It's not one that is guaranteed to be there. Not every policy has it, but it is something that is available to you sometimes. And what it is, is you can pay for the ability to waive the premium in certain circumstances. So what that would mean to you is if something were to happen, if you were to become disabled and you were no longer able to work and pay the life insurance premiums because of the disability, the insurance company would waive the premiums and you would not lose your insurance coverage just because you were unable to pay the premiums due to a disability. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. What it means if you can't pay the premiums due to a disability or some of the other things that could be spelled out in the rider the air the insurance company will allow you to keep your insurance coverage without losing it because of the missed payments now this can be a little tricky the the wording in the rider can be a little complex so you want to make sure you are aware of and very you know very clear understanding of what is and is not covered by this rider it doesn't mean that you can simply just stop paying for your coverage and it'll still be there it has to meet certain criteria and those criteria will be spelled out in the individual rider and by the company that you are working with but if the reason that you cannot pay meets their criteria, you are not going to lose your insurance coverage. So if losing the coverage due to a disability and your inability to pay because of this disability is something that you would be worried about, it is definitely something that can be worth the cost. But again, it is likely to add on to the premium of your coverage over and above what just a standard life insurance premium would be. So you need to sit down and do the math and talk to a professional and see if it is right for you in your individual circumstance. I can't sit here and tell you yes you should or no you shouldn't because I don't know what's going on in your life. It may be a great idea for you or it may be something that is taking more money than what it's going to be worth. That is up to you and a professional to sit down and figure out for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have other riders that you are unsure about and want to know more of what they mean and what it could mean to you, drop me a comment down below so I know what you guys want to know and I can do some videos on that. Most importantly though, if you want to sit down with me and figure out what riders, what coverage, what amount of coverage is right for you, there is a link in the description below where you can apply to become my client. I'll take you through a master class and then a couple little fact finders and then we can sit down and figure out exactly what you need for your individual financial plan. Remember, take care of your now, your future, and beyond.